Hey crafty people, welcome back to my channel. And in case you're new here, I'm Sarah, also known as Craft Nerd, cause I'm a nerd who loves to craft. I do paper crafting, card making, junk journaling, and mixed media art. Let's get crafting. Oh, welcome back. It's time for another Mass Make Monday. And in case you're new to my channel, what I do is I set a timer for 45 minutes and I try to see how, my, how many of a particular item I can make in that time. Um, and today we are going to make these cute little tab tag booklets. Um, and it was inspired by uh, Kathy over at Kathy's Garden. I'll leave a link to her video down below. Um, and what I liked when I saw her video was I was like, ooh, that's using six by six paper. I have a whole bunch. I actually have new six by six paper pads. Um, I can make those using that. And it uses washi, which is another item I have in my stash that I need to use more of. So that's what we've got today. I've got, I pre-cut a whole bunch of my six by six paper pads down to three by six pieces that we're going to use to make our tags. I think Kathy cut hers shorter. I think hers might have been like four by threes. Um, but I kind of like the idea of using up my paper pads. So, and she also used, I think, single sided paper. Um, so I'm probably going to add some coffee dyed paper to the backs and decorate the fronts of each of the tags so that you have some journaling space. So that's that's what we're making. I've got my pre-cut papers, I got my washies out, I've got my little tag corner uh, template that I made from an old gift card. And let's go ahead and start our timer and get going. All right, so these are new pads to me by, um, memory box and oh, I love plaids. So I, I kind of went a little crazy and bought like four new six by six paper pads. Um, so we're going to take three pieces of paper that we like together. And I grabbed six so that we can do a bunch of mix and matches. Um, let's see, do we want that to be the front of this guy? I'm just trying to decide what I want as front and what I want as back pieces. Let's go that way. And since we want everybody to line up once they're taped together, I'm going to use my template at the beginning to cut my tag shape. And I'm going to grab scissors. Where are my scissors? And cut that one. that one and then our next step is our washi tapes let's pick out a washi tape for this um, <laughs> let's open this up I'm looking at it I've got I thought I had like Oh, is that it? Is that the one I think I... Yes, that's the one I want. I knew I had. Let's use this one, I think. All right. As I'm mumbling to myself and you're like, what on earth? So I'm going to take my first two and line them up on my mat. Like so. I'm going to try and do a better job. Last time I... I balled the pieces and I cut them a lot bigger than I wanted them. So let's make sure we do them smaller this time. And I am because washi tape is not designed to stay stuck. I am going to add some glue. And I'm just going to use glue stick because what you can do is just run your washi tape along the top of your glue stick and it's just reinforcing the stickiness of the washi. So I'm gonna do one towards the top one towards the bottom And one in the middle. Just trying to get them about the same size ish. Okay. 
like so. Then we're gonna fold this over. And we're gonna put our next piece down. And do it over again. So let's do one. Two, three. All right. Two. And three. And then to secure the whole thing, what we're gonna do is add pieces to wrap fully around. So we're gonna need another three pieces. One, two, I'm going to kind of look to see about where I had it lined up so I can kind of wrap it around in the same spot. Like so. like so and then our last one like so and so there we go now I've got some coffee dyed paper off to the side here so that for the ones that are going to be journaling spots, what we can do is, and I cut it because my tags are three, I cut strips that are two and a half inches. So let's just go ahead and trim that. Trim that and glue this on now I'm probably just gonna do this one where I put the coffee dyed paper on because it's gonna take us forever if we do it on everybody and if you're a returning visitor, you know my Mass Make Mondays tend to be on the uh, less Mass Make side and more slowly plodding through, kind of. I move a little slow. So there we go, we've got journaling space on the backs. And I really like this and I'm gonna have fun decorating these which we will hopefully get to decorate one or two of them so let's go through and pair up all of our papers and cut all of our tag shapes let's do that first because I don't want to do these three together again so I've got another one two three patterns so those will be a set and then we can do two more where we mix things up a little bit let's do these two together and that and then decide we go that one and that one. Oh, and I need to be careful I need to pay attention to these guys which way I have them up because 
for some reason, this was one of those pads that has a little extra and a hole. And on this one, they miscut it where the hole is in. So I have a little notch, which I was looking at the bottom of one of those pages. And I'm like, why does that seem a little off? Because I didn't pay attention to make sure that the notch was at the top. We get cut off when we cut our tag shape. So let's, I'm going to bring over my garbage pail bucket. So I can cut these in because these scraps are not scraps I'm keeping. Oh. So I am filming this on Saturday. It will go up on Monday. And if you are in the United States, you know Tuesday, or you hopefully know Tuesday, is Election Day. If you have not already voted, I strongly urge you, if you are registered to vote, to find where your polling place is and go vote. I know in Florida this weekend is, you know, your last chance for early voting, I think might be today, which is Saturday. Um, and so by the time this airs, I think pretty much everywhere, your only option is to go out and vote on Tuesday, election day. Um, if you are not registered to vote, I know there are some states that has have same day registration. So you can go to your polling place and register to vote and vote. So I encourage you if you live in one of those states and are not registered to vote to do that um and if you're in florida you have to have already registered so if you are registered to vote i encourage you to find out where you're and you haven't yet i encourage you to find out where your polling place is and be sure to go out on tuesday make a plan to go vote um so that's my my last election cycle psa on mass make monday you will uh, not hear any more about voting for me until you know two years from now when we have midterm elections again um, so yeah i i went out last sunday morning and voted so i took care of that and then i had my friend melissa came and visited me she stayed she was at a conference all right let's divvy these guys out i got one of you and one of you this is a doodle bug Let's put you there and you there. Let's go you there and you there. Owl. Owl. One, two, three. Okay, we're going to have to mix some stuff up a little. So I got that guy and that guy. And stripe. And let's do this and that. All right, and let's cut our corners. And now, of course, I have a dog who wants to go out. Hold on a minute. Let me just cut these corners and then we'll pause for a sec and let a dog out because he's gonna be annoying until I do that. And then probably five minutes after I let him out, he's going to be annoying one to come back in because that's how my dogs work. All right, so we're going to pause. I'll be right back. All right, let's start again. And oh goodness, I went to let him out. And immediately after I let him out, he started barking like a lunatic at my back neighbor's dog. So I had to bring him back in. So that was fun. All right, so yes, last weekend or last Sunday, after I went and voted, I went and picked up my friend Melissa because she was at a conference in Orlando and so stayed with me until her flight back home on Monday morning. So yeah, I got to take her to the airport Monday morning. That was lots of fun. Um, let's see. And then, so she came over and what we did, we, we relaxed for a little while on the couch and then when we were starting to get a little hungry, um, we went down to Park Avenue in Winter Park and had some lunch at Bosphorus, which is a Turkish restaurant and one of my faves. So we had a light lunch, light-ish lunch, because I gave her options. I'm like, well, we could go there for dinner or we could go like where she lives up in the Panhandle in Florida. She doesn't have as many restaurant options. So I, I suggested a few of her favorite places that I know 
are in the Orlando area that she does not have near her. And then I pointed out, or we could go to uh, Ravenous Pig, which is a gastropub that does, you know, and its menu changes all the time. Okay, let's divvy these guys up. We've got one, two, three, those are definitely going together. And then I was gonna do one, two, three, those together. So now we need to mix our blues and purples together. Let's see, let's do that one with that one. Uh, I think we're gonna do that. Now let's do that one with that group and that one with that group. Okay. Um, which is one of my favorite restaurants. Like it's, it's, I have never had a bad meal at that restaurant. It's always so good. And even when it's got something like that I may not necessarily be fond of, like I went there one time and had an entree where one of the sides was carrot puree and I'm, I'm not big on carrots. Like they're not my favorite. It was so good. I attempted to make my own carrot, carrot puree that year for Thanksgiving. My carrot puree was nowhere near as good as theirs. <laughs> like I did not enjoy my carrot puree. Theirs was delicious. Um, so we went there for dinner and had all the seafood. Like we had, they had crab and corn beignets. She got the sea scallop entree. I got, they had a lobster entree. So I got that with lobster mushrooms. Oh, so good. Um, and then we split a peanut butter mousse dessert that came with, um, what is it? Popcorn brittle on it. Oh, very tasty. So we did that and well before we did that you know we had our lunch at Bosphorus which was also delicious and then wandered around downtown Winter Park for a little while and went to some of my favorite stores there did a little bit of shopping and she did a whole heck of a lot of shopping at there's apparently a new place on Park Ave or at least new since the last time I wandered down there not that I go all that often um, that has organic bath products for dogs so she bought some bath bombs and soaps for her dogs I however refuse to spend that much money on bathing products for my dogs since as soon as they get a bath my dog goes outside and rolls around in the dirt or starts digging so not gonna spend a small fortune on bath time when it's not gonna last very long All right, those three and then do those three together and then mix and match between the three Let's do those together and these together. So we wandered around Park Ave, came back, chilled out on the couch for a little while, went to dinner, came back, watched some RuPaul Drag Race. Then the next morning I got up and took her to the airport and then went back into working. Um, trying to think what else has happened since the last Mass Week Monday. Had lunch with a um, friend from work not this past week or for my former work the week before. Um, so that was nice, got to see him enjoyed a lovely lunch together um, my house is nice and clean as a result of um, Melissa coming so I did a massive cleanup of my house um, and sadly I think I did a lot little bit of in this room my craft room of just sticking a bunch of stuff in containers so it was contained and so now it's kind of like where did I put that so there's gonna be a lot of that going on over the next few days, weeks, however long it takes for me to uncover stuff. Oh goodness, we are rolling through time. Anyone surprised? No, nobody's surprised. Nobody is surprised by this. All right, let's do that. I'm thinking we may need to call it quits and that my whole huge stack over here is not gonna get 
snipped just so that we can make sure we have enough time to assemble guys together. So I'm gonna set the additional stack O papers to the side. Oh, excuse me. So that we can make sure we get what we've already cut done. And interestingly enough, the way I piled the piles, I don't have any of the Christmas ones ready to be done. All right, let's 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 at least do some Christmassy ones. So I pulled out a couple more pages to go with the three that I used on the sample one so that we could do a little mix and match with that. So we're gonna do that set. And then let's do one that's all reds. Let's do, let's do one more set that we're gonna cut and then we'll start assembling. Um, let's do this one with a slightly different angle on our tag. Now you of course don't need the tag template. They are, there are tag top punches out there that you could use. Um, you could also just cut an angle off randomly on either side. You can trim off like this. I'll do it not over the garbage. And am I on screen for any of this? I hope so. You can take this, flip it, and put it in that corner so that your corners match. But I just find it, I've got more room to hold when I cut off using my little template because I can hold it like that with my thumb. Whereas when you cut off the little corner, you've got to hold the little itty bitty corner in the corner and it's just too fiddly. All right, let's do this one. So next up, we're going to washi tape them together. So let's figure out what washi tape we want to use for this one. Um, I think I may go with the green again so we have a nice little contrast on the front. So well, let's see what color do we have on these green and blue and just kind of scanning my washies to see if there's one I like better. And I think we'll go with this guy. I have a bare piece. Let's do that. And again, this time I'm going to do like I did last time and kind of try and not use as much. All right, let's decide which order we want them to go in. I think I want to go that next. So let's rip off one, two, Three pieces. Grab our glue. Run it along and use our mat to get things straight, which just craziness I know. And we'll do one. Three. So yeah, when Melissa was here, Bert was just, he fell in love. He absolutely loved her, which she is a dog person. So that worked out well because he was all about jumping all over her and giving her all the love. And then he'd finally settle down and one of us would like shift on the couch and he'd look up and he'd realize she was still there. And he'd be like, oh my goodness, she's still here. I love her and jump all over her head again. Um, but she's fortunately a dog person. So she was loving it as well. So that worked out good. <laughs> Because yeah, he's a bit, he's a bit much. He's a bit much. Um, so yeah, that was, that was our excitement. Frantic cleaning and uh, she was here for about a, a day. <laughs> um, but it was good to see her and we had a lovely time. You know, we had a, some very enjoyable meals and did a little bit of shopping and hanging out and so that was kind of nice actually you know being social for a change 
I actually have a whole bunch of stuff coming up in November. Well, whole bunch, I say. I've got plans with my friend Allison to go see. We've got tickets for Jinx and De La's uh, Holiday Spectacular. I forget what it's called exactly, but there are a couple of drag queens. So we're going to go see them. Um, but a little over a week. Yes, yes. I need to get with her and make some more definite plans for that and got to figure out where my tickets are. Um, so we've got that coming up. Um, yeah, that, that was one of the things we talked about at lunch is whether or not she had paid me for the tickets because she usually has her husband pay me. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I don't remember. Check with your wife. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, I know I texted her the amount. I don't remember if she had you pay me yet. So we've got that. And then November every year, me and Allison and the other Allison... <laughs> go to the Orlando Museum of Art. So if you're in Central Florida, you are not aware of this. Every year, the Orlando Museum of Art does a festival of trees. So they have the museum decorated with Christmas trees that are decorated and donated. Um, and you can purchase the trees. I think they do an auction, like the first, the opening night. Um, but you can purchase a fully decorated Christmas tree it's artificial, um, and they will deliver it to your house after the festival is over. They also have wreaths. Um, so there's that one's done. There's our finished ones. There's our finished pot. All right, I have a feeling we're not going to get a whole heck of a lot of these done. Um, I'm trying to decide if I've got another one I want to use. Like, I'm going to end up using all of the same <laughs> washi on. Let's see what's in this. Hmm. Let's use the deer for a change. Let's switch things up a little bit. All right, so we need one. Two. I'm just gonna make a line of washi tape on my finger since we also need for the next layer. All right, let's decide which is going first. And I think I'm gonna go that guy first, that guy. Yep, I think I like that order. So again, use the page, or using my mat to line them up so I can keep them mostly straight. Run our washi on the glue. Try and remember that this one's directional, so we wanna put make sure our deer are right side up. So as I was saying, we go every year and then we go to lunch and usually up to a Mount Dora um, to do some shopping. So I'm sure we will do that again this year because we've already got that one booked and that's the Saturday before Thanksgiving. So I really need to get a move on, on filming because with that coming up on a Saturday and then Thanksgiving weekend, really need to get ahead on some of my filming so that I have time on the weekend to do the fun weekend stuff. So, yep, that's what's that's what's going on now and I also need to finish working on the stuff for that Halloween event that got canceled because of the hurricane. When it got canceled, I slacked off and I also, you know, didn't have power for 12 hours, so I was not going to try and craft in the dark. Um, yeah, these are not ideal for a mass make, I'm, I'm coming to realize, because it probably would be easier if I wasn't putting glue on the washi, but I just don't trust the washi to hold up, and so I want to put the glue on to make sure it sticks. All right, where's that? So, yeah, this is definitely taking, because we've got... Oh, 16 minutes. Okay, so we've got a little bit more time than I thought we did left. I was like, I was like, we only have 10 minutes left. 
Look, now we got a little more than 15 minutes left, but that's still not a whole heck of a lot of time. And we've gotten all of, this is number three, uh, <laughs> assembled. So yeah, that's, that's the latest news here. But oh, as I was saying, I need to finish up the stuff because I didn't finish it. So I've got that going on. I'm like, I need to start doing some Christmas crafting because I never got around. Last year I was so working on so many fall journals, which if you are still in the market for a fall journal, I have fall journals available for purchase on my Kofi site. And all I have to do is, there's a link in the description box. There's a link on my like about page on my YouTube channel. So if you just go straight to my channel on YouTube, you can find that. Or if you go to ko-fi um, and search for Craft Nerd Creates, you'll be able to find the shop that way as well. Let's use this one, I think, for this guy. All right, so maybe do it like this so it's not on my finger. Since we're gonna add glue. Um, so there are fall journals currently available for purchase. Um, my The Halloween journals I have been working on and you've been watching aren't going to go up until possibly um let's see let's make sure we like our order and I think yes we're going to go that way um because they they rescheduled the Halloween event because technically it's the Night of Mystic Arts, so it's not strictly speaking a Halloween event. So, but it's been rescheduled for January, which means a lot of the very Halloweeny themed stuff probably not gonna do as well as I would like. Um, but the journals are a little bit more spooky um, themed, so I'm hoping I might be able to sell some of those. So those are gonna be available. In January at the Night of Mystic Arts and then whatever doesn't sell may end up on my Kofi site or I may just hold on to it and do the event again in October of 2025. So but there are fall journals available for sale and last year I was so into doing fall journals that I just never got around to finishing any Christmas themed journals like none got done last year. Um, so I have a bunch of partially put together signatures and journal covers and I'm like I need to start working on Christmas journals and am I the only one who feels horribly behind on Christmas? Because I feel horribly behind on Christmas because I also have to figure out what I'm going to make for my aunts and uncle for Christmas which I actually think I know what I'm going to do. I just need to start working on them. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel the, oh dear Lord, it's, it's, it's November and Christmas is coming. Ah! So, so yeah, we're going to be doing some Christmassy projects on the channel in the coming weeks because I need to be doing some Christmassy projects in my life. So that's what's going to end up on the channel. <laughs> um. Although I still want to do fall themed stuff because fall is my favorite time of year and I was so busy doing the halloween -y stuff. I haven't really done much in the way of fall. Hence the lovely fall. Oh, look at this plaid. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, let's use this one. And these washies are simple stories. And the Christmas one that I used, I think, is Recollections. I think I picked that up at Michael's. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Not a 
heck of a lot. Um, just been working and crafting. Trying to think if Bert has gotten into trouble since we were last on. I don't think so. Um, he did destroy one of his toys and eat the squeaker, but he's been fine. That one, that one, I was like, we are not going back to the emergency vet so soon because um, that was on a weekend, and I'm like, eh, it should be fine. It's nothing sharp or pointy about it, and so, and he's been fine, so. Yeah, I think I think that's that's all he's gotten into. You know, he had his you know crazy happiness and joy over having company. Um and he's been digging today and yesterday he's been digging out in the yard like a complete and utter fiend. Like I don't know what he's trying to dig up, but he has been digging like a loon. And when I bring him in, he's got like crazy dog face. <laughs> Cause he comes in and his tongue's hanging out and he's all like, oh my God, it's great. I love it. I was like, dude, just calm down. So. He's got some pretty epic holes going in the yard. Ooh, those are, that one's not as close together. Oh, well, it's good enough. Yeah. I'm thinking about jumping ahead on one because I did fussy cut out some things to decorate, like one of the blue and purple ones. And I'm realizing as I'm looking at my washies that I don't have a good color for that. Hold on, let me grab. The Tim Holtz sparkly one. Let's do this one because I kind of want to decorate one on camera and we're down to eight minutes. So let's assemble this one, decorate, and then maybe decorate it. Let's find the end. I think Bert realizes I was talking about him because he just wandered into the room and then decided nothing interesting was going on and wandered off. Yeah, been watching Halloween Wars, which ended last week, obviously, and the Halloween Baking Championship. Um, and so soon they'll be starting up with Holiday Wars, which these are all on Food Network and their Halloween-themed baking competitions. Well, Halloween Wars is a cake decorating kind of competition. Like, they do major, like, huge displays that use pumpkin and blown sugar and cake, carved cakes. Um, so it's really cool. I like watching and seeing the amazing things they can create and like carve out of pumpkins and it's just really cool. Um, the Baking Champion is a baking competition. Um, and then the, they're going to start up soon the Christmas, which is Holiday Wars, which is Christmas themed. And they have, it's a cake decorator, it's teams of three, cake decorator, a sugar artist, which I just find amazing. Like watching the things they create with sugar is just like, wow. Um, and then they started the last couple of years that the third person was a cookie decorator. So 
that's getting ready to start up. And then the Holiday Baking Championship is getting ready to start up. Which, that was the first of the baking championships on Food Network I started watching. I started with that one. Then I added Halloween in. And they have like a spring one that I have not watched as regularly. Um, but I watched it, I think, this past year. Yeah. Let's see if we can line these up a little bit better. Let's do that guy down there. Went really low on that one. So yes, I do like watching a good competition show on Food Network. I will admit it. I, I enjoy watching the amazing things. And I think I may have talked about this the last time on our last Mass Make Monday because I don't have a whole heck of a lot going on otherwise. Like I lead a very quiet, fairly dull life most of the time except when Bart's getting into trouble. Um... This one is just like, me. it went all kinds of crazy. Let's, let's get this adjusted. Fold it over. Oh yeah, we got five minutes left. Man, time flies when you're crafting away, huh? Fingers are very sticky now from doing the glue stick. You're gonna have to decorate really quickly. All right, so we do have time to do a little bit of decorating because I got these beautiful snowflakes from Ginger Journals and I'll leave a link to this digital down below, but I thought those would look really nice with these plaids. So I cut that one out, I've got that one and that one. So I think we're gonna put that on the front, maybe like so, but it needs a little bit more decorating and I'm trying to decide what more I want. Just pulling out my Christmas labels section. I'm pretty sure I've got some snowy wintry ones from this is the junk journal studio I think. Yes. Yes. that. And I need to stamp some bits and bobs in blues for Christmas usage. So we can do that, that, and it needs a third element. Yep, I do have some blue numbers though, I think. Yes, I do. So think you know what it needs let's see do i have any mm, that's no question i think i do i do i like that yep nope blue cheesecloth i think there needs to be some blue cheesecloth behind our snowflake all right so this is just cheesecloth i dyed with distress inks that piece off. 
Flip our snowflake over. Put a little, little glue on the back. And add a little, let's see. She's cloth like so. And a little bit. Feeling we're only gonna get the front decorated because we have less than a minute. And I need some blue ink. Just grabbing salvage patina because it's handy. this down. Get on like that. And I'm going to stop the timer at like four seconds and we're just going to glue this stuff down. A bit more center. I think we're going to do that like so. Yes, yes. Okay. We're just going to glue the stuff down and try and get it to stick down. Um, now, I'm my. if you watched some of my recent videos, you know I've been having some fits with my Fabri-Tac, which I just need to get that sorted. So I normally use that for cheesecloth, but our glitter glue will work. It just takes a little longer for it to stick. Like, it doesn't grab the fabric as quickly as it does with, like, paper. And the Fabri-Tac grabs the fabric faster. So there we go. That's the front of that one. And I'll probably just add that snowflake there, maybe with some cheesecloth and labels and stuff. And then oops, we're sticking together. Another snowflake here. Um, so we've got one mostly finished. Um, and I'll add the papers back in. Two, three, four, five, and this is the first one we did, six, which that's not too bad, six assembled. Um, I showed you putting the coffee dyed paper in to um, give you writing space because these are not single sided. And then I have a whole bunch already cut that I need to assemble and a whole bunch more cut like this that I'll need to assemble at some point. So. There are our little tag, our little bound tag booklets. Um, so that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please do all the things that let YouTube know you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment down below. Thanks for joining me and happy crafting.